I tend to gravitate towards many of the new wave movements in film. My introduction to any sort of new wave movement was with French New Wave in the 1960s, which I feel is many people's introduction to new wave. There was also the American New Wave movement, the Hong Kong New Wave, the Indian New Wave alongside many others. One of the new waves that is often overlooked, yet has produced, in my opinion, some of the greatest movies of all time is the Czech New Wave movement. I'm a big lover of Czech New Wave, and today I wanted to explore the Czech New Wave film Daisies in particular. But first, what is Czech New Wave? The Czech New Wave movement is a movement that blossomed in the Czech Republic during the 1960s. The films often touched on themes that, for earlier filmmakers, would easily get them censored. The films often expressed absurdist humor and arthouse editing styles that were in direct contrast to the social realist films of the 1950s. Daisies was directed by Vera Chitlova, an avant-garde Czech film director and pioneer of the Czech New Wave film movement. Chitlova was born February 2, 1929, in a strict Catholic household. This strict Catholic upbringing would later influence many moral questions presented in her films. Chitlova studied philosophy and architecture in college, but abandoned these fields. She then worked as a draftswoman, a fashion model, and a photo retoucher before working as a clapper girl for the Berendov Film Studios in Prague. After Daisies was released in 1966, due to controversial reception, which we'll touch on a bit more later, the government made it very difficult for Vera Chitlova to find work within Czechoslovakia. After the Soviet invasion in 1968, it was virtually impossible for Vera to find work, so she had to direct commercials under her husband's name. Ale co? Daisies follows the hedonistic pursuit of two young women, both named Marie, as they embark on their gleeful journey of gluttony, giddy destruction, and anti-patriarchal resistance. The pair engage in strange pranks, overindulgence, go on dates with older men, have epic feasts, and swing from chandeliers. The audience can only watch as these two girls chaotically consume and destroy the world around them. The main characters serve as exaggerated representations of female stereotypes and the infantilization of women. The two Maries are depicted speaking in high-pitched voices and childish mannerisms, though this is what is expected of them by the men in their lives. And thus the men in the film don't realize the deliberate act both of the women put on. Film writer Ella Bittencourt notes that Chitlova uses the stereotypes of how women are often infantilized as a weapon. Women are often portrayed as lesser beings in sexist narratives, ruled by the male gaze, and by blowing these assumptions and stereotypes about women out of proportion, Chitlova aims to show audiences the absurdity of the patriarchal idea of femininity. There is also an extensive use of a doll metaphor. The doll metaphor throughout the film is a means of displaying society's absurd expectations of women by overplaying their stereotypical attributions, the idea of being a pretty, lifeless toy. This ties into the infantilization aspect accompanying the high-pitched voices and childlike mannerisms. In the beginning of the film, we see Marie 1 and Marie 2 sitting down, and as they move, we hear cracking sounds, as if coming from an unoiled hinge. Nic nám nejde. Co děláš? Ano. Jsem takhle jako pana, ne? Já jsem pana. Aha. Chápeš to? Nikdo nic nechápe. Nikdo nás nechápe. A further emphasis of this metaphor is that the characters seem to almost lack empathy in a way, devoid of deeper human emotions. 
In many ways, the film also inverts stereotypical ideas of women. The two Maries are shown stuffing their faces with food on more than one occasion. They are loud and rambunctious, and both seem to be promiscuous, having multiple romantic partners, none of whom they are serious about. Nebuď taková. Radši bych, abys nikdy nevstoupila do mého života. Víš? Julie. Co prosím? Promiň. To bylo nedorozumění. Já jsem tě nepochopil. Já nevím, co se to dnes se mnou děje. Že už na mě nebudeš taková ošklivá, když již jak tě miluji. Julie! Když já nevím, o co jde. Julie! These character traits are often traits we associate as socially acceptable for men to display, and even in modern films we rarely see young women depicted in this light. These characteristics are seemingly reserved for men. Many conservatives in Czechoslovakia criticize the film for its displayal of gluttony and the support it shows for the hedonistic heroine's alleged unflattering behavior. The film was originally planned as a satirical commentary on bourgeois decadence. The film targets those attached to rules and was referred to by Chitlova as a necrologe about a negative way of life and critiques authoritarianism and the patriarchy through its display of such chaotic young women, which before wasn't ever really seen in film. The film was quickly banned from theaters or export by the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic due to its portrayal of wasted food and promiscuous women. The food fights and immense consumerism that Marie I and Marie II instigate were believed to be unrepresentative of the political agenda of the state. Author of the Czechoslovak New Wave, Peter Hames commented that the officials objected primarily to its avant-garde form, the fact that the girls didn't provide a moral example, and they no doubt correctly saw it as an attack on establishment values. Daisies is an absurdist art house feast. I had first become aware of this film in my teens, as I saw stills floating around on social media sites such as Tumblr and Pinterest. I was immediately struck by the two beautiful leads of the film, the stunning composition and vibrant colors of the stills. From the stills alone, I could tell that the styling of the characters and the set design were stunning. I had to find out where these stills were from. Upon discovering the title of the film, I remember frantically searching the internet for any website I could stream this seemingly stunning film. However, I came up short. <laughs> At the time, I was unable to find anywhere to watch this film. Though, I had a gut feeling that when I did, it would become one of my favorite movies. But I gave up my search. <laughs> Until one day, uh, a few years later, I was walking down the street past a local independent theater that showed avant-garde and underground films when I saw it. Out of the corner of my eye, I could swear I saw the poster for Daisies. I turned on my heels and ran to the theater window. I couldn't believe it. They were screening this movie that I had desperately wanted to watch for years. So later that week, I saw the film. It was worth the wait to have my first experience with this film be so magical. It was an utmost privilege to watch this stunning piece of art on the big screen. Although luckily for lovers of film, Daisies is now accessible on a wide array of streaming platforms. Daisies was like nothing I had ever seen before and still remains unlike anything I have ever seen before. <laughs> Rehabilitation středisko. Umři, umři, umři. <laughs> The film has very little plot structure, and scenes proceed from one to the next chaotically in a way that seemingly reflects the chaos and unorganized psyche of the two leads. The same can be said of the color grading. The film switches from black and white to vibrant monochromatic hues and back to normal seemingly at random. Both women generate destruction and chaos wherever they go. And these editing choices only emphasize that. These editing choices and lack of plot structure create a unique, absurdist, and surrealist tone. 
seemingly reflecting the philosophy of the Marie's. If the world is unpredictable, why should we be anything but that? Daisy's is regarded as a milestone in the Czech New Wave movement. It is experimental, daring, unique, and in my opinion, genius. It's definitely not for everyone. Some may find the lack of plot structure and complete chaos of the film to be hard to follow or even boring, but I always gravitate towards films that push boundaries, that dare to question the rules of cinema and even throw the rule book completely out the window. It is these artists who dared to challenge the social norms of cinema that completely revolutionized the art form. And it is the filmmakers who did abandon the rule book that is the reason the new wave movements across the globe were born. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening to me uh, sort of just info dump and rant about this movie that I love so much. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have some other Czech New Wave movies that you really like or that you would like me to talk about, let me know. I am also, my probably my two other Czech New Wave favorites are um, uh, Valeria, Valerie and Her Week of Wonders. Uh, as well as uh, there's like the Little Mermaid adaption that was also from the Czech New Wave and I also love that film. Um, I'll probably make a video on Valerie and her Week of Wonders as well because I think that's a, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> if there's any movies like movie talks or it girl talks that you guys would like to see from me, um, just comment below. Thanks. Bye. A kdo to bude platit? Pertwee, pertwee. <laughs>